Welcome back to the Star Wars UE5 RPG tutorial series. Today we will make the lightsaber activate and retract, as well as add some sounds to add more realism. Let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is to import the lightsaber audio files to Unreal. Go to Core and create a new folder and name it Audio. Import the three audio files from the package into the folder. Highlight the files and right click. Select Create Multiple Cues. Double click on the new Cued Hum audio file to open it up. Click the Wave Player and choose the looping checkbox to make the sound loop. Play the lightsaber hum cue. It seems a bit loud. Let's turn it down a bit by opening it again. Set the volume multiplier to about 0.1. We can adjust it later if it's too soft. Open BP Lightsaber and select the three audio cues. Add a new component called Audio, Multiple Assets. This will add the three cued audio sounds for the lightsaber. Go to the viewport and set the scale of the lightsaber blade on the Z-axis to zero to hide the blade and simulate a turned off mode. Now, open the event graph. Delete the nodes inside to have a clean board. Left click and search for custom event. Name the event Lightsaber Activate. Duplicate the custom event and name the event Lightsaber Retract. Drag the lightsaber blade from the components window into the event graph board. Drag the lightsaber activate cue onto the board and connect a play node. Add a get relative scale 3D node to the lightsaber blade. Add a set relative scale 3D to the same lightsaber blade. Add an equal node and set the X, Y, and Z to one each. This will check to see if the lightsaber has been activated or not. Connect a branch node to the play node and then to the equal node. Create a new variable of type boolean and name it is activated. Drag the boolean is activated to the board and click set is activated. Connect the true from the branch and put a check mark in the tick box. This allows Unreal Engine to detect hits from the lightsaber later on if the saber is active. Add a V interp to node, this is what makes the blade come out, and connect it to the relative scale 3D and set relative scale 3D. Set target X, Y, Z to one each. 
Connect a get world delta seconds to the delta time on the vinterp2 node. Set the interp speed to 5. Plug the false from the branch node to the set relative scale 3D node. Add a delay node to the set relative scale 3D node and set the duration to 0.01. Connect the completed side of the delay to the left side of the branch. This will allow the blueprint to continue to check if the blade is activated or not until it is. Duplicate everything except the lightsaber activate and the sound file and paste it below the other nodes. Connect the play to the lightsaber retract event. Drag the lightsaber retract cue and connect it to the play target. Untick the is activated box. Set the Z value to zero in the equal node to do a check to see if the lightsaber has been deactivated. Set the Z value in the V in TERP2 node to zero to make sure the blade goes to zero, or in other words, switches off. Under all of that, add an event tick node. Drag the lightsaber idle hum Q file out and add an is playing node. Drag the is activated variable onto the board and select get is activated. Add a branch to the is activated and event tick nodes. Drag or duplicate the lightsaber idle hum Q and add a stop node. Connect it to the false in the branch node. Add another branch node and connect the true from the first branch node. Connect the return value from this plane to the condition in the second branch node. Drag another lightsaber idle hum Q file onto the board and connect a play node to the false from the second branch node. This will make the humming sound of the lightsaber if it is activated Click Compile and Save. Open the BPX2 file, go to the event graph, and drop a keyboard F node. Drag a reference to the lightsaber onto the board and search for the Get Child Actor node. Add cast to BP lightsaber and connect to the pressed in the F key node. Drag off of the cast to BP lightsaber as BP lightsaber to search for the get is activated variable and add a branch. From his BP lightsaber, Search for the lightsaber retract node. From as BP lightsaber, search for the lightsaber activate node. Connect the lightsaber retract node to true in the branch. Connect the lightsaber activate node to false in the branch. Compile and save. One last thing is to make sure that the auto activate on each of the Q files in the BP lightsaber class is set to false. Otherwise, the sound will start right away. Let's give it a go. Run the game and press the F key.
It works. How about that? Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content.